Hey, how's it going folks? It's me again, your boy Tabo, and yep, this is another 3JS tutorial. So, I'm gonna create um, the crazy um, visualizer that I uh, posted just the other day. Uh, I'll just show it to you just now. Okay, so it's this one, yeah. Okay, so there we go. Um, this is the visual that you saw. I mean, this is really crazy, you know, um, you can play around with it. You can adjust like the different shapes that you can get, you know, by adjusting the code. But um, yeah, I will just show you a little bit. And then from then on, you know, you can do the rest yourself. Okay, so I've already have, I already have code um, set. I'm basically going to work off the code from the last time. So in my folder, like the last time, um, I'm basically creating everything on this one folder. So this is the last tutorial that I created, it's lesson one. So this will be then lesson two. I'll just rename this to lesson two. And then we can just get started, okay? No wasting time. Okay, so these are the essentials that I have. Um, the renderer setting this up, you should be familiar with this process right now. So just to save time, I've already got this stuff so that we can just kind of jump into the real thing, you know? and. Uh, save ourselves a lot of trouble. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, okay, we're gonna create a uh, mesh. Okay, we're gonna create a plane basically. So uh, from that plane, this is where everything is gonna come. Okay, so I'll just do it like this. I'll just be copying and pasting, you know. I'm sure by now you know that I can do this, so I'm not here to prove a point whether I'm responsible for this tutorial or not. Uh, it's just to get things done. Okay, so I'm gonna create um, a plane geometry and a mesh standard material. And what I'm gonna do after that is, um, okay, let me also increase the size of, okay, I hope that is, uh, big enough, maybe just reduce it a little bit because that's also a little too much. Okay, so what I'm gonna do afterwards is I'm gonna create a um, variable called pause. Well, this is mainly, uh, it holds the positions of uh, the, the vertice array. Okay, so this is the vertice array of the geometry that we just created. And then afterwards I create a, an array called indices. Then afterwards, uh, then I'll just create another, I'll create a buffer geometry. It's a buffer geometry and uh, then I will, um, what I'm doing here is I'm taking all the um, vertices from this pla uh, plane geometry that we created. And then I'm pushing all of that information into the indices that we created this array over here. So I'm just looping through it and then uh, putting all that stuff in there. So the next thing we're going to do is then set the index and then uh, the attribute, the position attribute for our buffer geometry. Okay, so here we go. So we take this buffer geometry that I created here and then I set the index using the indices. So after pushing all of this information, then we take that and then we put it into the indices. Okay. And then afterwards, then we take the position attribute. So we use the information that we got also from this geometry. So the array with all the information of the positions of the uh, vertices, this is in this um, variable called pause. And then three basically is um, the, because it's, it's, it's a vector three, uh, these are vector three values, it's X, Y, and Z. So it will take the array and then it will arrange this information according to this sequence. So the every three um, um, indexes will be grouped together to create the vector three um, values. Okay, so once that is done, then we're gonna take all of that and then we're gonna create a mesh out of it. Okay, so we're gonna say const mesh equals to new three mesh and then we'll take the buffer geometry 
and combine it with the material. And then we just add that to the scene, like so. Okay, so next what we need to do then is we're gonna rotate the mesh no, because it, it's a plane so it will be upright. Uh, so you want it to be flat. So we're gonna do that by setting up the rotation on the x-axis to math pi times minus 0 0.5. Okay, in terms of everything else, um, we've got our camera set up here. So the position, the look at is gonna look at the scene position. And um, I'll just make other adjustments here. I'll just add some positioning also over here. So the position Z and Y, these are the values that I'm going to use. For Y, I just left it at zero um, for now. Maybe I might change it or maybe not. Uh, well, I'm just copying and pasting. So I don't really remember why I made it zero. I think I had a value there, but then I changed it again. But that's not important anyway. So the values that we're gonna be working with here, we're gonna create a variable called T. This is supposed to stand for time. Okay, so with this, let's get rid of that. Camera.look at, so actually, you know, I would like to put all of this information up here over, over the controls. Because here we've got our, con our orbit control, okay? You, you should remember from the last tutorial, this is so that we can move around the scene, you know, nicely. And so yes, um, I'm gonna create a variable called T, and this is uh, our time variable. Oh, wrong copy. Okay. Okay, so we've got our T variable over there. So what we're going to do then is that we're going to increment it by by this factor. Okay, I'll say plus equals 0 0.001. Actually, we'll just... Yeah. Okay, so that's going to be our time. And so what we're going to do then is... Um, let me see. Okay, so we're gonna um, loop through our position. And then in there, we're gonna do this. So we'll just go create a for loop okay i'll just delete all of this other stuff this is uh, mainly what we're going to be focusing on okay so um this information is um that's the array from from our mesh okay we've got our mesh you go to geometry attributes position array and then we go to the first um, array which is zero because we're looping through it so that's what that does and just we're basically looping through it and then assigning it the value Okay, so at the moment we're just gonna I'm just gonna work with these um, with this one value first, this one over here. Okay, so let's see what that does because uh, I've got everything here, so everything should render properly. And remember, you should also run your HTTP um, server in order to see all of this stuff. So I'm gonna be running at localhost 8081. Um, if you're not running any other Oh, if you're not running the server on any other page, this would just be 8080, okay? So that's what that should be. So this is my 81, I'm just gonna refresh it. Okay, so lesson two, there we go. So there we go. So you've got our plane over there, right? So it seems like everything is looking okay. Let me see if there aren't any errors. Okay, no errors. Okay, so what else needs to be done here?
Okay, so um, yeah, now that we have that, we also then need to we need to um update our position, and we need to also compute vertex normals. Okay, this is important. Otherwise, you won't see anything happening. Okay, just like now we were doing all of this, but you don't see the animation because we're missing this information over here. So this needs to be updated and then we need to compute vertex normals and that should then run the animation. Okay, that's super fast. So I think I need to change the timing somewhere. Um, I think this should be it. Let's try three over there. Um, Yes. Okay, so this is it. Now these are the original values that I was using. Okay, the first time when I created this. Okay, it's a bit crazy. Um, I can just make it even slower, I'll say six. Okay, so that's how it moves. So this is a plane that is being animated this way. So this, these are the original values that I used uh, to create the, the visualization, which was pretty, it looked pretty cool, you know, but they are pretty funky also. That's one thing because I didn't like the interpolation. I thought it was a bit, um, a bit rough, you know, so yeah, that was that. But other than that, it worked. So it was fine. It produced a pretty cool effect, which I cannot complain about. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is that uh, I will then slowly add other bits. So what we're doing now is that now we're setting up animation for X, Y, and Z. So now here I've got a sine value. Here I have a cosine and over here I also have a cosine. You can mix and mix these things around and then you will get different effects. But I'm not going to do all of them. You will play around because otherwise... The tutorial will take too long once again and the point of doing it this way is so that everything is really quick and to the point okay so these are the current values so let me um just kind of make them interesting i'll make that three and then i'll make that four let's see what that does I don't know if you saw that. I'm gonna refresh it again. So this is what's happening. You know, so the this is the shape that we're getting from the values that we've got there. Um so I'm gonna make this six. Uh, let's check that out. See? It's like really interesting shapes that you get from this. It's really cool, really cool stuff. Make that two. So you can play around with as many of these, like you can play around with the values and then you will see the different shapes that you will always get, you know? So that's what I was doing. That's how I actually got to the visualization because I was just playing around with that stuff and it was just really cool, all the stuff that was coming out. Okay, so now that uh, we know that works, okay, so now I'm gonna revert back to the old um, values that I had, which is 0 0.3. And the um, other one is 0 point, 0 0.2. And then another 0 0.3, okay. Okay, so now this should give us the visualization that you saw the last time. Okay, this is originally what it looks like. Um, the reason why it looked the way that it did is because I did some extra things to it so that it looked as cool as it did. But this is like pretty much what's happening. I won't say under the hood. It's not under the hood because you can actually see everything. But yeah, that's... Um, what's happening so just to make it then cooler um we're gonna do a couple of things so first of all i'm gonna clone um this mesh okay so i'll take that well basically i'm just gonna copy 
everything that I've done because I've done all the work. There's no need for me to do it all over again. Um, so, oh, jeez, that was dumb. Um, copy. Okay, so I'm gonna yeah clone that mesh and then um, add it to the scene. Okay, let's see. I've got a, I've got a point light. Okay, well, I'd created a point light. Um, seems like well here I don't have it, so I'm just gonna copy the point light, because that's also responsible for all the cool effect and everything. Okay, so the point light, I'll just put it here, and then I'll also add it to the scene. Uh, I guess that I can just do manually scene dot add say point light there we go so um, I'm gonna then position it in the y position to value of 10 okay and then so now that we've got that and then I'm gonna do another rotation on the second mesh that we created, so mesh two, we're gonna also do a rotation on the Y, I mean on the X axis. Okay, so we've got that, that is done. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the point light, since um, we've got that going we're going to add some animation to it, okay, because that's part of the light show. So everything that you saw the last time, uh, it was composed of all of these things. Okay, so we've got the slide and then we just add animation on the X and Z axes. And then we're going to take our scenes background, we'll take the mesh material as well. And then add some animations on that. Okay, so we take the scene background. Um, if you can see over here, scene dot background this is originally what the color is so now i just took that into our render loop and i just added an animation like some color animation to it so this is what the background is going to be it's just going to be random uh, or yeah basically a sign of different colors all the time like a lerp kind of uh, animation and then on the material i'm also doing some animation on the color but on the emissive so this is what's going to make it look cool uh, it won't look as dull as the other one, as the last one that we checked out. So let's see so far what that looks like. Now uh, you see, now you can start to see the difference. So this is what's happening. So now you can actually see all the cool effects nicely. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's see uh, what else is missing. So we're gonna then, we have the emissive animation. Okay, and then yeah, we have a whole bunch of animations that I'm gonna bring through. Okay, so I created also a, a rotation on on the, the both meshes, mesh one and two, or yeah, and then I've got the mesh scale also with some uh, sine and cosine animation. So both uh, meshes have the animation on them. And so, what else? Let me see. Oh yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, with all of that, then this is what the visualization should look like then. Okay. So you see, this is what we get. And the more, I, when I change the values, then I get different effects from this also, you know, which is pretty cool. So I'll leave that up to you. You know, I don't want to do that for you. But yeah, ultimately, this is what the tutorial was about. You know, so I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that um, what was clear um, that it was well quick enough, but not too quick and everything. So yeah, play around with the values, see what it does. Um, but this is how I did it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. So love and peace. See you. I'm out.